Well guys, it's the Wednesday before race day at Manchester Marathon on Sunday and, uh, and I've had something troubling me and I've not posted this on social media or anywhere because um, I like to practice what I preach and uh, unfortunately I picked up an injury uh, the Sunday, you might have seen my long run um, along the canals 15 miles and when I finished that particular race um, one of my feet had swollen up so much I think I have a look at the picture I think I've shown the picture there it was it for me it was pretty grim and pretty terrifying to see my foot having swollen up so much and I've never seen anything like it um, my immediate reactions uh, was oh my god you know you can imagine you know two weeks before race you think, oh my god that's it because I couldn't move my foot it was hurting um, yeah it was just one of these things so I knew straight away no running on my feet so I'd done nothing for the whole week in terms of running or exercise was doing stretching and mobility and you may have seen that I went out on uh, last Sunday which was my last long run and that was just a 10 miler and I thought when I finished that I was filming it felt good and a few little niggles but I thought you know the swelling had gone down it hadn't gone down completely it had gone down and when I finished the uh, run uh, the foot looked pretty much the same I was taking pictures before and after and really looking at it maybe stressing too much about it getting paranoid about it and uh, and I thought great uh, went in sauna jacuzzi and then uh, when I got out of that come out that the foot had swollen up again and I thought oh no and then I got into real panic mode and uh, was getting paranoid about everything and, and as each day progressed um, the swelling was going down a little but not enough and here on Wednesday the swelling still hasn't gone down and I've made a booking to see a professional physio because I really do believe that um, whilst posting pictures of injuries and this and that and people are very well meaning um, it has to be looked at I mean even with me physio sending pictures to uh, the physio nine times out of ten they can't diagnose exactly what it is without looking at it so I'm heading off now to go and see a professional physio and assess what's going on with my uh, foot and ankle and uh, fingers crossed it's good news but I've already you know it's what will be will be okay sarah sarah as the uh, song goes so I'm off to see the uh, physio now fingers crossed it is good I don't know when I'm going to publish this on uh, the YouTubes or wherever but whenever I do it's it's for me it's definitely lessons learned um, in certain aspects I don't know what caused it I've gone through a, a whole list of things that could have caused it but I'll speak with this physio and see what what they come up with uh, what may have caused it I have no idea no idea really um, I've got connotation because some things happened on the Saturday whilst I was away you know knocking of certain you know banging my knee quite badly on a on a uh, chair in a kitchen that kind of things and, and I'm getting pain in the knee or whatever so it could be all sorts of things all connected I really don't know and I could speculate and this is why posting things on the social media we could all speculate and as I say whilst people are well-meaning it can be totally wrong and I've had that many many times where the uh, diagnosis by looking at it people think it's one thing when actually it's another and it can cause all sorts of confusion and I'm scared enough as it is really scared that uh, I hope I haven't done any form of long-term uh, injury here and these things go through our minds don't they like people talk about maranoia it's the old paranoia of little little niggles and this and that is going through my head and um, I just want you know I'm almost uh, praying that everything is uh, okay and uh, let, let's see let's see what happens so I'm heading off now to see that physio see you in a bit fingers crossed so guys I've seen the physio and uh, I suspected it's good news and bad news uh, the bad news is that uh, there is some uh, pain around the tendons and of course some kind of tension tendon issue and that's the bad news the good news though is that um, I'm going to try out a uh, 5k and basically see how it goes um, so I'm going to try a fast 5k either later tonight or tomorrow see how that goes and if there's any reaction 
then that that's it the the, the race isn't happen reassess see how that goes and then try a fast 10k and again reassess see how that goes and if 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 that works and there's no aggravation and i'm not feeling any pain then we'll go with the race if not unfortunately i'm gonna have to pull out and um, that's that's the uh, the situation <sighs> these things happen oh, you know part of me feels disappointed already but i feel determined to get out there so i'm going to get out and try a fast do a sub 25k and see how it feels okay onwards and upwards so guys it's now thursday morning and uh, as you can see behind me it's snowing oh, oh. so this morning as i said yesterday is this is the first uh, test so it's a fast 5k gonna go and do it on the treadmill in the gym and let's see how we get on just come off the treadmill barely barely a couple of minutes in and, and the ankle is really hurting so I had to stop that's it So that's it guys, uh, attempted 5k, sub 20, I didn't even get to the first 5 minutes on that treadmill and uh, the ankle was hurting, yeah how, how appropriate on this cold bleak dark Thursday that um, I have to give you this news but hey you know I mean last night I had a good old uh, weep and rant and sometimes it's our closest friends and loved ones who get the brunt of it I've let it all out and it's just one of these things yeah first world problems and, and I'm not being disrespectful to anyone or anything but at the end of the day the bottom line it's just another marathon and I've got to really respect that distance you know the final test of after I got off the treadmill, I said, come on, it can't be hurting that much or whatever. So I tried the uh, what the physio recommended, was hopping on one foot on each of the feet, and, and there was pain there. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know what your views are. Leave some comments below. But if you're getting pain whilst hopping on, uh, on your foot, do you think it's a good idea to try and run a marathon? Yeah, so for me, the no pain, no gain, and all that type of philosophy is a load of nonsense and um, pain means stop and uh, as sad as it is for me to stop i'm stopping yeah uh, so manchester marathon will not be happening and uh, and i don't think boston marathon no i i can't really see boston marathon happening i'm gonna do the rehab right you know ice compression i've been doing that for the past couple of weeks and it has been improving dramatically from when you saw that first picture of the uh, foot it's uh, yeah it's dramatically improved but the pain is still there and uh, and it hurts i you know <laughs> and being in a race and you've got a couple of miles left and it's hurting is one thing but when it's hurting before you've even got to the start that's a completely different um, kettle of fish so I really do appreciate all the sport and comments that you guys have been giving and uh, it's, it's great to know that you guys watch there and you all care and and it makes me feel really good and I really do appreciate the support that sadly you know I feel yeah again first of all have I let myself down have I let you you guys down it's yeah it's it's not the end of the world yeah we've got to keep perspectives on these and uh, we all learn lessons in life and and this is one of those lessons yeah so um, let's see what happens on the next one i might do one inside when it's not snowing raining cold or whatever and have a bit more of a perspective on it but i just want to give it to you roar as it as it's happening so um 
yeah 